Hello everyone, this is Steffi the MLG Panda, and I'm back with Let's Play Undertale. So, on my last part, I ran away from Undine a whole bunch, which, by the way, I saw on the Undertale Tumblr that her name is supposed to be pronounced, like, Undyan. I'm probably gonna mess that up later, so I think I'll just stick to Undine, unless I remember. But... <laughs> So I ran away from her a bunch, and she collapsed over by a water cooler, and I gave her some water, and then she just walked away without saying anything. So, I don't- I have no idea where I am now. I guess I'm in a volcano. It's very quiet here. Sorry, Undying, <laughs> like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyan. Whoa. This is like the River Styx. The ferryman. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Sure. Oh, okay. I can go to other towns. Um. I don't know. Let's go to Waterfall. I hope I can come back here. Wee. Tra la la. Humans, monsters, flowers. Flowey. Here we are. Uh, I hope you're still here. Yes. What? The boat has a dog face. Hey, do you have any new information? No. I only have 20G. Don't have anything so. Oh, I need to find that Temi village place. I don't remember. Hmm? Yeah. Alright. It's time to go back to the volcano and progress. Yes. Hot land. <laughs> It's like the table in Mother 3 where you could ride on the table. The room before the darkening lantern room. So is Temi Village in Hotland? I hope it is. Again sometime. Let's see if the boat changes again. Yeah, it's back to what it was before. Okay. Wonder if like each place has a different boat. Whoa. That's cool. Oh my gosh. It's you? It's me? It's too dark to see near the walls. Uh It's too dark to see anything. Looks like dog food. Hello, creepy. The lights are on. It's a dinosaur! Oh. My god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I am showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy. And... Ah! 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 Um... Uh, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, 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 uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. I don't even know who's good and who's bad in this game, honestly. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been catching me on camera. Are you the guy that put the cameras everywhere? Yes. Yes. Oh my god. What a stalker. Your fights, your friendships, everything. 
I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. Uh, I don't know. So now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I don't think I want your help, buddy. I know a way right to Asgore's castle. No problem. Well, actually, um... <laughs> There's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently, I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Uh-huh. Like, um, anti... Anti-human combat features? Uh. Oh, gosh, I see where this is going. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Yeah, no kidding. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with thirst for human blood. Maybe. <laughs> but um, hopefully we won't run into him. Yeah. That's awkward. And here he comes. Did you hear something? No. I'm also not feeling the floor is moving. Haha. <laughs> oh no. Hey, Metaton, what's up? Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties. Ding. To today's quiz show! Yeah! Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. It's me. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly or die. Yeah, or die. Oh boy. Oh, that's cool music. Check. Metaton, 10 attack, 999 defense. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? More questions. Right, sounds like you get it. The quiz show continues. Cry. Screaming is against the rules. Oh no! It's the king's full name. Asgore Dreamer. Correct, what a terrific answer! Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Metal and magic? Too easy for you, huh? <laughs> okay. I don't know if there's something I'm supposed to do. Here's another easy one for you. Oh my god! I don't know! I got it right? <laughs> okay! <laughs> Darn it, I keep missing. How many flies are in this jar? I got it right! I wonder if you get it right, like, regardless of what you answer. Yeah. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? Let's frog it. What? What? But I answered right! Oh, crap. I'm almost at items. Uh, but can I get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Um. <laughs> Yay! 
Was that supposed to be Napster Blook? It's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? What? <laughs> Am I supposed to die? Like, I wonder if this is a fight where you have to die. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Miss Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? So it's snail? <laughs> Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? A human? Seriously? My, my, how conceited can you get? I love it. And while you are completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on her computer screen. Oh, seen her watch you on her computer screen. Nuh-uh! Nuh-uh! I have not met this guy before or watched him. No, wrong. You have to go that way. In its own way, is this not love? Well, well, well. With Dr. Alpha's helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But. But. This is just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. More bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Bye. Ha 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 ha. Well, that was certainly something. Okay. I knew it was dog food. Wait, wait! Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Oh, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. <gasps> Can I get a phone and text mom now? Oh gosh. Here, I upgraded it for you. It could do texting items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. Haha. <laughs> I don't want to be friends with you. You're a creep. And you kind of made a robot that's trying to kill me. Um. Bye. Have fun in there. Let's play with the cell phone. Dimensional box? Oh! Cool! Now I can get into my inventory whenever. I'm putting back on the old tutu because that gave me higher defense. I took it off before because uh, Papyrus told Undine that I was wearing it. And I have two boxes now. That's really cool. Mom! I can't... How do I text? Papyrus. A lab? My brother would love that. He loves science fiction. Especially when it's real. Then it's not fiction. It's beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. Is he a furry? It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. A garbage can, but it's pretty cute. It's a video feed of your location. Like, is there a way I could turn this off? Because I don't want to be spied on. Oh, he's there's the bathroom. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Mm -hmm. What's over here? Okay, that's the way out. What's up? Scientific books, they seem very dusty. Washing machine? Pink goop drips from the strange machine. 
Looks like Alphys' work table seems dusty. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. A dress? Hmm. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention! When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Okay. <laughs> It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. I think I could make friends with Metaton. He's cute. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. So was he just in the wall this whole time? Oh, the feet are gone. But I still can't go in there. Okay. Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undine fight Undyne whatever. Fight the human. Sad face. <laughs> okay. Alphys. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I ask, I'll ask her about it later. Bruh. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Don't call me. Leave me alone. Whoa. He's like Toriel. Oh, I'm being attacked. Vulcan. Hmm. Encourage. You tell Vulcan is doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Ah! Vulcan parades around you proudly. Oh, I can, uh, Bear it now. On <laughs> its face. Now I got more money. Um. This music is really cool. But, uh, I think I'm gonna end this part here. And I'm gonna off camera go back to the save point and heal. And I'm gonna go use that boat to go get some more healing items because I'm almost out. Maybe some new equipment? We'll see. And I'm going to stay in that hotel in Snowden and raise up my HP some. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Undertale. Bye!